how are you doing? I'm in the science lab today because today we're going to be talking about our senses. Our senses are how we experience the world around us. Things like our sight, we see things around us. Our hearing, how we hear around us. Our touch, how we feel. Our taste, when we eat things. And our sense of smell from our nose. But what exactly are these things and why are they so important? First, let's talk about our sense of sight. Where do we see from? Yeah, from our eyes. We see the world around us using our eyes. Some people's eyes work really, really great and they can see far away and close up just from their normal eyes. And some people, their eyesight isn't that great and they may need things like glasses to help them see. I wear glasses to help me see far away or I put in contacts if I don't wanna wear my glasses. Look around you right now. What are all the things that you can see with your eyes? Hmm. When we stop and look at all the beautiful things around us, it can really help us appreciate our sense of sight. Speaking of sight, I've hidden five different eyes around this room to test your sense of sight. Can you find five eyes hidden in this room with me right now? Hmm. Oh, you're right. There's one in the corner over there. That's one. Where else do you see an eye? Hmm. Oh, you're right. Up there. That's two. Where else can you find an eye in this room? Hmm. Oh, you're right. Down there. That's three. Can you find two more eyes? Over there, you're right, that's four. Can you find one more eye? You're right, over there, you found five eyes. You've used your eyes, your sense of sight, to find my eyes all around me. Great job, friends. Next time you're feeling a little bit bored, just take a minute to use your sense of sight to explore all the things around you, all the nooks and crannies, all of those textures on the wall. If you're outside, take a look up at the clouds and see if you can find shapes in them. Our sense of sight helps guide us through the world safely, so we're not bumping into things or running into oncoming traffic. The amazing thing about our senses is that if one of our senses doesn't work very well, another sense can adapt to be even stronger. So say your sense of sight doesn't work. That means you're blind and you can't see. Your sense of hearing may be heightened to make up for your sense of sight not being there. Let's talk about our hearing. Let's take a minute to be quiet and see what sounds we hear around us. What did you hear? You might hear some cars driving past your house or your little brother or sister playing, or one of your grown-ups snoring on the couch. Our sense of hearing can help alert us when there's danger and help us feel comforted if someone tells us, I love you. It can also make us feel happy if we're hearing happy music. It can make us feel lots of different things just from what we hear. Let's take a little break from the lab and step outside to see what sounds we can hear. Ah. Here we are. Hmm, let's turn our listening ears on real high and see what sounds we can hear. Do you hear that? What is that? Yeah, I hear birds chirping. Do you hear the birds chirping outside? What a beautiful sound to my ears. How does it make you feel inside to hear birds chirping outside? It makes me feel calm and relaxed. Let's see what other sounds we can hear. Oh, do you hear that? That sounds like a noisy motorcycle. Oh, I don't really like the sound of loud motorcycles. It makes my body feel kind of tense. How about you? Let's see what other sounds we can hear. Oh. 
think I hear some kids playing on a playground over there. Do you hear that? How does that make you feel when you hear kids playing on a playground? It makes me feel happy because I know that there's lots of happy kids around. Let's see what else we can hear. Do you hear that music? That sounds like the ice cream man. <gasps> I love the ice cream man. I definitely feel excited when I hear the ice cream man coming. I tell baby Silas that the ice cream man is actually the dancing man. So whenever we hear the ice cream man come by, we get our dance on in the street. Sometimes we may get some ice cream too, but I like the dancing just as much. Any more sounds you hear? <gasps> Do you hear that? That sounds like a fire truck. <gasps> wee -oo, wee -oo, wee -oo. How do you feel when you hear a fire truck? Do you feel excited because you really like fire trucks? Or do you feel like you want to cover your ears because it's so noisy? That's usually how I feel when I hear a fire truck. So our sense of sound can help us feel safe or scared or lots of different feelings depending on what the sound is. Let's talk next about our sense of smell. What is your favorite smell in the world? Hmm, that does sound like a good smell. I really enjoy a good banana bread baking in the oven, wafting its yummy, sweet, bready smell. That's one of my favorite smells. What are some things that we can smell that may smell good? Hmm, do you see anything around me that may smell good? Oh, I see some flowers over here. Let's go give them a smell. Oh, wow. Those smell delicious. Do you like the smell of fresh flowers on a spring day? Me too. Let's see what else we could sniff that may smell yummy to us. Hmm. I smell popcorn. There's a popcorn stand over there. Oh, popcorn is another one of my favorite smells. That sweet, that salty, buttery smell. Oh, I love it. Do you like the smell of popcorn? Mm-hmm. What are some things that we might smell that might not smell very good? Do you see anything around me that could smell yucky, stinky? <gasps> oh, do you see that skunk over there? Oh, skunks are yucky, stinky. Oh, can you say pee-you? Yeah, that is not a smell that my nose likes to smell. Mm. Let's see, what else might be stinky that we would want to stay away from? Hmm. Oh, do you see those trash cans over there? Yeah, trash cans definitely smell stinky, huh? Trash is a yucky smell. Our sense of smell is another thing that can help regulate us. Our sense of smell is another thing that can make our bodies feel anxious or calm. Like sometimes when I'm feeling kind of out of sorts, I like to get my favorite hand cream and rub it on my hand. It smells like cookie butter and I put it on my hands and then, ah, and it kind of makes my brain start feeling a little calmer. Finding something that smells really good to you and smelling it when you're feeling kind of out of sorts is a way to help regulate your body. Let's head back to the lab to see how our other senses can help us out. Whoa. Our next sense is our sense of touch. When we talked about our bodies, we talked about how we have skin covering our entire body. And our skin is covered in nerve endings and touch receptors. So our body reacts to the environment around us. Like if we're cold, sometimes our skin might get goosebumps. If we touch something hot, our skin reacts so we know to stay away from that so we don't get hurt. Sometimes it can feel really nice if someone not lightly tickles your skin. All of our touch receptors and nerve endings help keep us safe. It alerts our brain if something around us is dangerous, like something hot, or if we need to make changes, like put on a jacket when we're cold. Let's look inside this bag and see what kind of different things we can feel. Hmm, I'm feeling something squishy, feels stringy, and squishy. 
What is it? Oh, look at this. It's a squishy guy. Wow. I can pull him. I can pull him and I can smush him. And it feels really nice in my hand. I would say this texture is squishy. Let's see what other textures we can find in our bag. Hmm, I'm feeling something soft and fuzzy. Oh, it's Silas's little bunny. Silas likes to squeeze and hold this because it feels soft on his face and his hands, and that can help calm him down. Hmm, this feels soft and fuzzy. What else do we have in here? Hmm, this feels hard and rigid. Oh, this is one of Silas's blocks. He likes to stack them on top of each other and see how high he can build. Can you hear how hard this is? If I threw this at something, it would probably break whatever I threw it at because it was so hard. That's why I always tell baby Silas, blocks aren't for throwing, blocks are for building. Hard is another texture that we can feel with our hands. Let's see what else is in here. Hmm. Glue. <gasps> Glue is sticky. I don't really like feeling sticky, do you? Sometimes when baby Silas eats his pancakes, he gets syrup all over his hands, and then he wants to wipe them on my shirt. And I don't like feeling sticky on my shirt. So I like to make sure he washes all the sticky off his hands before he touches mama's shirt. Wow, so sticky, squishy, soft, fuzzy, hard, rigid, bumpy, rough. All of these are things that we can feel with our sense of touch. And our sense of touch is just another way that helps our body keep safe. I'm what they call neurodivergent. And one of the ways that affects me is that I like to move a lot. I move my hands, I move my legs, I move my feet, I move my body all the time. And sometimes that can be kind of inconvenient for me. So I like to have something for my hands to fidget with, like this little fidget cube. If I'm feeling a little nervous or excited or uncomfortable or really anything, I like to have this in my hand to kind of spin like this. And it kind of calms my body down. That's just another way that our sense of touch can regulate our body and our brain. Do you have certain things that you like to touch that make you feel a little better? Like Silas's stuffy or my fidget cube? If not, you may not need something because we're all different and we all need different things. But if you do, finding something like this may help calm your body a little bit. Our last of the five senses is our sense of taste. What do we taste with? Yeah, you're right. Our mouth, specifically our tongue. <laughs> Did you know that our tongue has thousands of little taste receptors and each part of our tongue tastes a different thing? Yeah, let's take a look. That's our tongue. And there are different parts of our tongue that taste different kinds of things. Like in the very back of our tongue, well, that there, that's where we taste things that are bitter. Things that taste bitter are like horseradish or mustard or Brussels sprouts, cabbage, kale, even dark chocolate. All of those use our bitter taste buds way at the back of our tongue. On the sides of our tongue is where we taste sour. Sour things are things like sour gummy worms or tart cherries, cranberries, or even lemons and limes. Things that make you go when you eat them. Then in the middle of our tongue is what's called umami. Umami is kind of like the earthy meaty tastes like steak or mushrooms. Then we have my personal favorite, the sweet receptors. We all know sweet things, right? Like ice cream or candy or chocolate. That gets tasted. Then at the very tip of our tongue is our salty receptors. I enjoy salty too. Things like pretzels or potato chips or goldfish. Mm, sweet and salty, I would say, are my favorite kinds of food. What about you? Do you like sour 
or the earthy umami, or maybe bitter? Who knew that different parts of our tongue tasted different things? Our nose also helps us taste. That's why when your nose is super stuffy, it's harder to taste things. So to review, the five senses in our bodies are our sense of sight, our hearing, our smelling, our taste, and our touch. Next time you're experiencing something, whether it's watching a movie, eating a snack, smelling something yummy, take a minute to stop and say, which senses am I using right now? Chances are you'll be using more than one or even all of them at the same time. Like maybe I use my sense of hearing to hear the oven go ding. <gasps> my banana bread is ready. I open the oven and use my sense of sight to look at that delicious loaf of banana bread. I slice a piece and feel the warmth of the banana bread with my sense of touch. I <sighs> take in a big whiff of delicious banana bread with my sense of smell. And finally, I gobble it all up and taste that sweet, yummy bread. That's all five senses I used just for one loaf of banana bread. Woo! And that loaf wouldn't have turned out as great if I hadn't used even one of them. Our bodies are pretty amazing things and our five senses are how we experience the world around us and keep us safe. So take a few minutes here and there and smell some flowers, look at the beautiful clouds, eat some yummy food, listen to some amazing music, or feel something soft to calm your body down when you need a little assistance. Thanks for joining me on this lesson of your five senses. Until next time.